Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is another video. Um, this is um, the working mom versus, versus the single mom. I mean the working mom versus the stay at home mom. vouch on both ends because I've been a working mom and I've been a stay-at-home mom I mean it wasn't for a really long time that I was a stay-at-home mom but I have a lot to say on both ends so get to subscribe um, please follow me on snapchat and Instagram before I forget to mention and and stay tuned for the rest of the video comes to the stay-at-home mom you men have no idea how hard it is you have no idea or even you women who look at the stay-at-home moms like Oh, they're just... What do you do all day? You get to stay home? Staying at home takes a whole new different kind of woman. Stay at home is... You have to have some type of... You have to have those skills, those motherly, those... Not even motherly skills. You have to have pay shunts to be a stay-at-home mom oof lord have mercy i personally i love my kids do not get me wrong i will do anything for my babies any time of the day any day of the week um i will give them the moon if i could but i personally cannot be a stay-at-home mom <laughs> i mean i have okay you guys have to understand I have a two-year-old son, and I'm not going to say he's in his terrible twos, but we all know how that goes. He's still learning, and he's in the trying me process. He's trying me in his age that he's in now, so it's like I can't really blame him. Um, I have a now five-month-old daughter, and she's still very needy. She's still learning. She's trying to sit up on her own. She's almost ready for solid foods. While my toddler is running around pulling me, mommy, mommy, hi, hi, hi. That's his, that's his thing now. Hi, hi. He like talks and says like everything. He's like a little parrot. <laughs> but being a stay at home mom, it's a whole new ball game. You have to clean. You have to cook. You're continuously clean. And if you're a stay at home mom for more than one child, it is work. I personally cannot do it. I cannot do it. Not saying that, oh, you like the easy way out, but I personally, I need a social life. I like to go out there and talk and have, you know, meet people, or if it's not even like meeting people, just like laugh and joke with my coworkers, you know, joke with the other people on the other end of the phone because I, I work in um, customer service, so I'm on the phone. I'm talking on the phone all day and... You know, probably once or twice, sometimes throughout my day, I'm making a joke with one of my customers or one of my clients. And it's like, I would rather go to work, come home, appreciate and miss my babies, miss, miss their little presents, and then just give them all of my love when I get home, rather than being with them all day, stressing out because... I need help and I'm tired and this and that and then I'm just grumpy, I'm snappy and I'm irritated because I didn't have any time to myself all day. But It takes a whole new ballgame to be a single mom and I'm to be a stay at home mom. I commend you women. I commend you stay at home mothers. And it's so funny because it's so true. I went to, tar I went to Toys R Us with my kids and I was, a, um, I was about to start going back to work. And um, there was a stay-at-home mom, and she's shopping around. I had no idea she was a stay-at-home mom, but she's shopping around with her toddler. Her and my son were her son and my son was the same age, so I I understand it. I know what's going on here. He's walking around, and she's you know following him, chasing after him. And she's and then she throws out, "Yeah, I'm a stay-at-home mom," and I'm just like, "Oh, like oh, I I know, I know, I know, like what you're going through. It's like when you're a stay-at-home mom." Anybody and everybody becomes your best friend. You just want to talk to anyone who, who's an adult who can understand. You know what I mean? Like someone who can just like, you know, 
you could just you someone have a conversation with somebody and like me on the other hand I don't have very many friends by choice and you know I'm very like to myself for the most part so when I was a stay at home mom whenever I would go somewhere it's like a breath of fresh air you know just venting on snapchat and I know a lot of you guys seen me venting like a nobody's business um it was probably nobody's business but oh well I need to vent <laughs> Um, and it's, it's hard. You guys understand. Um, yeah, so, and then the working mom, the working mom, we do have a lot of responsibility as well because it's like, we're mentally struggling with not, not being able to see your child's milestones and every single thing that they learn new and do new. It's like my son comes home and he's doing something new and I'm like, where'd you get that from? And you know, it's sad because it's like, I didn't. I wasn't there to like teach him certain things or to or to you know teach him like a new word or show him something new you know what I mean but at the end of the day working moms just know that you're out there hustling for your kids you're hustling for your family um, I personally I don't have to be a working mom only by choice because I know how I am, I know the type of person I am, and I do know that I need I need a little bit of time out to myself, even if it's working. I like to have the freedom to where I don't have to worry about, um, or I rely on my significant other to provide certain things for me. I don't like to, um, I like to be self-sufficient. I don't like to be um, reliant. Not saying single moms are reliant, but I mean stay-at-home moms are reliant. But me personally, I just like to get out there and get my own, um, my own stuff. I like to contribute. I like to be also a breadwinner and make my own money. Um, but I do, I did like being a stay-at-home mom too because I felt like I was so close to my kids. I feel that you know. No one's going to take care of your kids better than you if if you are about that mom life. Now, there's some mothers out there who are deadbeat moms and they just always put their kids off on other people. They, you know, they're not working, but they just care about themselves, self, self. You know what I mean? They're doing their own things completely and solely. Everything I do, I do it for my babies. And I mean, as long as I feel like that's your motive, you know working and doing everything for your kids that's all that matters it doesn't matter that you're working and you're not there for your babies it doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom and you know you're doing everything in your might um, and you know you're taking care of your kids a mom is a mom regardless if she's a working mom or regardless if she's a stay-at-home mom we both have our own separate struggles that we go through throughout the day but neither makes you less of a less of a woman and less of a mother so, um, I commend you stay at home mothers because that's a harder job by far than being a working mom. I, I personally say because I was a single, a stay at home mom. Um, it's being a stay at home mom is made for a certain type of woman and being that woman, especially if you have more than one child, even if you have one child, one child is sometimes already enough. But when you have two kids and then we have three kids and and more in your stay at home mom, yeah, my hat goes off to you by far because it is not easy at all. And a lot of people look at stay at home moms like, oh, you're a stay at home mom. And then they automatically judge. Don't even think twice because a lot of people can't even last a day, last 10 minutes in your shoes. You hand them the baby, you hand them the bottle, you hand them the toddler's hand and you're out. They wouldn't be able to handle it at all. So, heck, I could barely even handle it myself. Um, but I'm a full-time mom. I work full-time. And when I'm there for my kids, I'm there. And that's all that matters. So, as long as you're spending time in your with your with your babies, you know, you know how to multitask and you know how to balance work life and mom life. That's all that matters. As long as you know how to balance stay at home mommy life and social life, that's all that matters.
because of course you need a social life being a stay at home mom because you're at home all day. It's like there's no other, you know, adult around. So it's like boredom can happen, depression can happen, you know, um, irritability, um, laziness because you got so much going on, you just feel lazy and tired at the end of the day and then, you know, man comes home and he's looking around like, oh, what was done? What was done? If your kids are happy and the house is a mess, that means you're doing something right. If they're fed and the house is a mess, even if your house, the state of your children, what state they're in. Look at your child before you speak twice about what's going on in the household and why is, you know, certain things on the floor not speak and span. So if you feel like you're going crazy by being a mom, that means you're doing it right because you guys, I feel like I'm losing my mind, my marbles all the time. You know, whenever I'm going through it with my kids, whenever I'm going through it with my boyfriend, it's just like an up and down, up and down thing. It's like you sometimes you feel like things are never going to end, you know, diapers after diapers being changed on a potty train and you wake up and your son's diaper is off and there's pee everywhere and there's poop everywhere and then you're not getting enough sleep because you have to be at work at 7 o'clock in the morning. You have to wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning and get yourself ready. It is a lot of work, you guys. Either way it goes, being a stay-at-home mom or a working mom. So I would just recommend you guys um, <laughs> choose wisely. I mean, even if... Um, you know, whatever you decide to do, I would just recommend um, giving in your all and being the, being the best parent you can be possibly for your kids, whether you're single, I mean, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, um, just being present is all that matters. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and thumbs up my video. Um, please um, don't forget to comment or read and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a later video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you would like to personally email me regarding anything, um, you know, advice or just, you know, if you need someone to talk to, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll put that, my email in my, um, description box. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye guys.